goodness. I don't, I, I don't even know what to say. I am out of breath from carrying these bins from my basement up to my bedroom. I need to start going to the gym again. All right, everyone. Hello. My name is Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to be. It came out weird. So today we are going to do book haul number book on haul. I mean, number three. So I have two bins of books today that I who truly don't know what these ones are. These ones that are that these are the ones that are in the depth of my play closet in my basement that I truly like I took these off my shelf in high school and have not looked back, but still have not gotten rid of them. So I'm interested to see what this holds, what I'm in for today. So my name is Caitlin. I'm wearing my strand book shirt and commemorative for this on haul. And if you like this book on haul, this video, my channel, me, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment about what book am I unhauling that you think I shouldn't unhaul. Let's, let's discuss. If you don't like this video, make sure to dislike it, um, leave a hate comment. Maybe it could be about the turtleneck t-shirt get up. I really like that look, but maybe you don't, you know? Leave some sort of creative hate comment. I haven't seen any real hate comments yet. So, you know, like if you're watching this and you're like, oh my God, this bitch is so annoying. Like she always asks for hate comments. Just leave one, like just leave one. I, I wanna see it. Okay, so let's just jump right into this video. I'm gonna slide this bin right over. I'm not even lifting up the bins for you. They're way too big. So I'm gonna flip them right on open, take the books out and put them back in as we finish the bins. I have two bins for you today. Let us go in. So right on the top, I see some interesting, interesting books. We have Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. I picked this up solely for the cover and the, the sprite edges. And I have, I have not read it. I never read it and I unhauled it. So then The Seller by Natasha Preston, which was AKA Watt Pad sen Sensation, Natasha Preston. I had never read this. That's funny though, that this is a Watt Pad book. Anyways, unhauling it. The A to Z of You and Me by James Hanna. I've never heard of this book. Don't kill me. Um, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I read them, they're cute. I want to give them to someone who will really enjoy these books because they are loved and adored and the rest of them are in here somewhere and I want to give them to someone who will have a fucking blast with them so. Winger by Andrew Smith. Never read it. Jesse the Reader recommended it a while ago. Not sure if he still does but. Next we have We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sen Sunquist and I think I read this and I'm pretty sure it was like pretty funny but never gonna read it again. And yeah, so unhauling it. Where is the first book in this fucking series? Fucking annoyed. So I have the summer I turned pretty somewhere, but these are the, the second two books. I read them as you can see, they are used. So this is It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. I really enjoyed these probably a little bit more than the other ones just because I'm not, I don't remember why. I enjoyed them, um, but I've outgrown these. I won't reread them and someone else will really enjoy these and have a blast. So the first one's going too. I don't know where it is. Anyways, The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp. I read it. I don't really remember my thoughts on this book. We have Anti-Goddess and Mortal Goddess by Kendar Blake and I have not read these. I'm not sure what they're about and we'll give them to someone else. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. I told you this is gonna be like true like old booktube archives. Like you're about to see some gems in this box. I never read this. <laughs> the Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I, I might keep this book for future bookshelves but I can also get this pretty easily somewhere else. So maybe pass it off to someone else who should read this book. Perks. Um, fun fact, I've never read Perks. <laughs> if I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. I did read these books. I did watch the movie. I have nothing else to say about it besides if I'm giving you a glare, I apologize. These are glossy 
2010s books and you know the vibes you you know the fucking vibes and they're gonna get unhauled don't look back by jla i literally don't remember what this book is at all and i am surprised that i never read it because i like jennifer alarmer oh my god what the fuck this book is also fucking signed i did not realize maybe it was a drop for this then and not for the last book in the stone cold touch that's interesting maybe it was a drop for don't look back an interesting development on my JLA. I've met JLA a, a series. I'll, I'll tag the book that the 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 the, boo, the unhauls where I speak about Miss JLA. Since you've been gone by Morgan Matson. I've never read it, and I hope someone else enjoys it, but I'm never going to. If We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is like getting hype on TikTok for some reason recently. I don't know why. I like thought this was big brain when I was like 12, but y'all aren't 12 on TikTok talking about this book, so I don't know what you're talking about. Then we have Just One Day. Um, I don't think I ever read this by Gail Foreman. Yeah, so lots of Gail, Gail Foreman. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. I must have read this because it shows signs of like me reading it, but I can't tell you a single thing that happened in this book. I have never read these. These must have been my mom's, but after we fell and after we collided, I must have stole these from my mom to put them in my room to look like a smut brain bitch, but yeah, I don't really enjoy reading smut and I don't enjoy reading <laughs> romance, so those are getting on hold. Speaking of not enjoying romance, we have Colleen Hoover's Ugly Love and November 9. I don't give a flying fuck about either of these books. I read them. People suck Colleen Hoover's pussy juice. And I personally couldn't give less of a, a damn about Colleen Hoover or her books. And I'm glad they're for some of y'all. So when I give these away, someone's gonna be very excited about finding good condition paperbacks. But I'm like so excited to get these out of my house. I forgot I even fucking had these. Goodbye. Forbidden by Tabitha Suzma. Um, I'm pretty sure this is about incest. I'm not sure why I have this because I never read it. So I'm just gonna give this away. We have Speak by Lori Hulse Anderson. I don't think I ever read this book. It's one of those books that I kept on my shelf before I did a cleanse of making sure it was books that I only have ever read that like I put on my bookshelf and told everyone I read to like make myself look smart, but I never actually read. Maybe I should keep it and read it because I know it's a very impactful book, but I haven't read it and yeah. We have Grimm um, by Ellen Hopkins, Julie Cagua, and Amanda, uh, Amanda Hawking. <laughs> I've never read this. I don't know why I have it. So we're gonna give this away. Oh, it's short stories. I hate short stories. No wonder why I never read it. The Chaos of Stars. I don't know what this is about whatsoever. Here is a uh, Bohemian Lace. I must have been reading it a little bit, but I can't tell you what it's about. And there's no dust jacket, so don't eat. The first two books of Percy Jackson in the OG hard... Oh, ew, there's a bug in this. Lightning Thief and The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I actually think I'm going to give these to my boss so they can read the Percy Jackson series with their family. I have the rest of them in a different bin and I have like multiple upon multiple copies of this series. So I'll be passing these along to my boss, uh, boss's kids. Cute bookmark that fell out of this book. One plus one equals blue by MJ Ouch. I'm not sure what this book is about, but I will give it to someone else for them to like a nice YA romance. I don't read much of that. Then we have The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Oh my God. I hope Cody is like a girl's name and not a man because like if this is written by a man, that's really kind of fucked up actually. Um, anyways, The Designated Ugly Fat Friend. I read it in high school. Like, I don't really remember what I thought about it. I'm just gonna like give it away because it makes me a little uncomfortable. Then we have Finding Audrey by Sophie Consuela and I've Got Your Number by Sophie Consuela. Kinsella, 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 I don't know. Um, I read it, I, I don't know. I have literally no interest in romance. I don't know why I forced myself to read romance when I was like fucking 16, but that's that for bin number one. Let me repack and we'll go on to bin number two.
bin number two. Sorry if the angle got switched up there. I, I kicked the tripod. Totally my bad. Oh my God, I'm seeing an archive in here, people. I'm seeing an archive the minute I open it up. We have Judy Bloom, otherwise known as Sheila the Great by Judy Bloom. Otherwise known as Sheila the Great by Judy Bloom. I don't think I ever read this. So, unhold. Fifth Avenue, 5 a.m. by Sam Lawson. Um, cue my teenage obsession with Audrey Hepburn, like fucking 80 other percent of white teenage girls. Sorry. Archive alert. Sarah Shepard's Pretty Little Liars incoming. We have Wanted. I'm not sure quite what number this is, but I was obsessed with these books. Um, but I'm gonna dehaul them. The Hall, Unhaul. Let's Get Lost by A.D. Alsade. And I never read this book, but hopefully someone else picks it up off the cover because it looks like a cute little cover. So I don't know. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Um, I never read this and I'm gonna pass it off. So we have Startled by His Furry Shorts um, by Georgia Nicholson or the uh, by Louise Renison, The Confessions of Georgia Nicholson. This is Angus, Fong, and Full Frontal Snogging books. Unhaul. Heartless by Sarah Shepard. Told you that this is gonna be a bin of Pretty Little Liars books. Sorry, not sorry. Oh my God, these are all fucked up, bro. You can tell that I fucking read the fucking shit out of this book. Killer by Sarah Shepard. Holy shit, look at how fucked up this book is. I have half a mind just to like reread some of these books because like, I obviously thought it was iconic, so for what reason? Um, cause this is- look at this. This is atrocious. Maybe I won't unhaul them. Maybe I'll do a little video rereading some of these little Pretty Little Liars books because like honestly that is so funny. The Wicked Pretty Little Liars book. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. So I didn't realize that I didn't already give this away. So you can see this is the movie tie-in edition. And as a young youth, you know, living close to New York City, I had the opportunity to go to the 92Y with my friend and me, the cast of The Maze Runner. If you know me, if you have known me, you would know that Dylan O'Brien was my OTP, my, my one true love. I say OTP, that's one true pairing. Pairing with me, okay, pairing with me. Anyways, when I met Dylan O'Brien, I can tell you, I lost my shit. Um, I will insert clips photos, whatever I can find on my laptop, because it's true gold. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I think James Dashner was the only person to sign the book. Right? But l let me insert footage of my shadow box that I still have up on my wall to this day above my kitty litter. Truly love this for me. Truly. Look at that phone case. Look at that phone case. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that Dylan O'Brien signature. Absolutely beautiful. Um, that is uh, the cast and Dylan O'Brien signing my Divergent phone case. I don't know what to tell you people. I, I don't know what to tell you. Next, we have An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. I never read this book and I never will. Um, Fire with Fire. I'm not sure where the first book is. Where are you first book? Burn for Burn. I... I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, I think it's like fucking I'm <laughs> like, like, like little fires everywhere, but like, that's not it. We Are Liars by E. Lockhart. I think it's like, those are the vibes, but like, I don't know. I'm gonna unhaul them. The Shan Shanahara Chronicles. Ooh. This, this is funny. This is a funny one. Um, maybe I'll keep this <laughs> just for the memes because Again, if you knew me, you would know that one of my favorite TV shows as a young lad was John and Kate Plus Eight.
Next, we have a series that I read and beat up and I enjoyed, but it's time for us to, to part ways, for us to part. And that is Delirium, Requiem, or Pandemonium and Requiem. Sorry, they're out of order. I'm not like other girls, <laughs> I'm fucking lazy anyways. That's not good to be lazy, by the way. You should want to be like other girls in that respect. Like, don't, like, you should want to be like other girls. Like, don't be lazy. Like, just fucking be like other girls, please. Please. Anyways, um, yeah. They're, they're red, they're beat up. I read them freshman year of high school. We know the vibes, we know the drill. And that, that is that on that. I have nothing else to say besides that I read read that and i i think i enjoyed it and um the shit's about like if love was only goal it's just stupid as fuck but anyways i'm sorry i'm sorry the giver by lois lowry this is a tiny ass book i never realized that anyways paper valentine by brenna yovanoff i think i might have just bought this because at the time i had a friend named brenna if you're watching this brenna how are you doing i'm sure you're not but i hope you're having a great day brenna a wonderful day. I haven't spoken in a while, but I hope you're doing well. Night by Ellie Wassell. I'll probably keep this book. I just don't want it on my shelf right now. I want to save it for when I have more shelf space. I read this multiple times and Premeditated by Jocelyn L. McQuinnion. And I think I read this. I think I enjoyed it. That's all. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a thriller gal. I'm gonna get rid of it. So next we have Little Brother and Homeland by Cory Doctorow. And I think I was supposed to read Little Brother for a school project and I never did. Even when I, they let me choose the books, I couldn't quite get there. If someone thinks these are really good and that I should read them and keep them, like let me know because I'm interested. Because I was supposed to read these at the age of like 15. But I didn't, so Paper Towns by John Green. Fun fact, my friend from dance and I ran a Paper Towns fan account. And we actually went to like a pre-screening and everything. Like this account got pretty big. Yeah, it was like Paper Towns of New York or something like that. I'm um, Sarah. Again, this is like the day of like shouting out my dance friends on YouTube channel that I haven't spoken to in like five years. But like, what the fuck is up? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Remember our Paper Towns Twitter. That's some funny shit. I never read these. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. All right, so I, again, um, suck and managed to have all of the other books, but the first book to the series, and that is the Ugly series by Scott Westerfeld. We have Pretties specials and extras and i don't believe i ever even read them but i have all of them why i don't know and if you can tell from all of these book on hauls like that is this is the reason why these are the only books on my bookshelf like i'm fucking done with all of this clutter and books that i literally have no idea what they're about like i'm fucking over it my bookshelf over there that I showed in my bookshelf roast that has A Little Life, House of Leaves, V.E. Schwab, um, and Heartstrapper books, those are my only physical TBR books. Like, that's it. Like, I refuse. I refuse because this is disgusting. Hexed by Michelle Kurse, another book that I never read. This is Where It Ends by Marquis Nishkamp, and I think this is, like, about a school shooting. Never read it. And... Wow, people, wow. Truly, I am amazed. We have made it to the end of this book on haul. Eight children in three years? Impossible. Three book hauls in three weeks? Possible. Did I say hauls? I meant unhauls. Fuck. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day, a wonderful day. My name is Caitlin. If you liked this book on haul with me, please feel free to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, comment down below. What book should I read? What book should I not get rid of? If you didn't like the video, dislike it, leave a hate comment. I haven't seen one hate comment yet. And like, you know, these fucking YouTube commenters love to leave hate under other people's accounts. Where's the hate on mine? I'm asking for it, okay? Like, straight up. 
and no one's giving me what I choose to receive. And it's really fucked up, to be quite honest. So I would love a hate comment down below, really, truly. That's that for this bunk on haul. I, I'll see you guys later. Like my journalism professors once said, all press is good press as long as you spell my name correctly. And that is C-A-I-T-L-I-N. Goodbye.